What's good, good y'all? It's the Demachettes React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit that subscribe button, button and turn on the post notification bell because we're, we're on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Start with what you should do. Number one, save your money and have a budget. Barbados can That's be expensive for some people. So you're going to have to make sure you come here with a decent amount of money and you have a budget in mind according to what you want to do, what you want to see, what you want to eat, what you want to drink, where you want to go, the adventures, the gas, where we're going to be staying. You have to have all these things prepared, you know. Number two, rent a car. Mm. It makes things way easier because there's no uber in barbados uh -oh. taxis can be very costly and also the public transportation some visitors find it confusing you know now you have to keep this in mind though in barbados you drive on the left of the road and the steering wheel is on the right of the car you have to understand that before you come here that may be different for some of you all you know so keep that in mind if you're going to be driving in Barbados, be aware that there are lots of roundabouts. Oh, Lord, Become very aware of how to operate with the roundabouts. It's simple, but just make sure that you understand it. Number see, three. See, hold up. First of all, mm. you're telling us there's no Uber. You're telling us that we have to learn to drive on the other side of the road with a steering wheel on the other side of the car. Correct. Then you tell us that there's roundabouts. You know Americans don't like roundabouts. There's whole videos about it. Yeah. But yeah. good thing is the island is so small, we'll be able to, you know, get what you gotta around. get. Yes. ASAP. Yeah, hundred percent. But that's that's a lot on us. So far, <laughs> yeah. I just think going around a roundabout with the steering wheel on the other side of the car can mess mess a person's head up. It, if it you're can. not familiar with it. Driving straight, you know what I'm saying, you can finally get the gifs of it and mm -hmm. you know, groove what whatnot, but that roundabout with the opposite wheel, mm -hmm. now nah, that's, I think your brain's gonna try to tell you to do it differently. Right, they giving us too much trust at one time. Yeah, that roundabout is dangerous. <laughs> Always walk around with cash. Some okay. places in Barbados are cash only. They don't accept card, Venmo, cash app, all that. Nah, walk with cash. And I'd suggest you walk around with Barbados dollars, right? Number four, get repellent. Understand, oh, the man. mosquitoes here are, uh, Relentless, they roar us, they hungry, the savages avoid yeah. these mosquitoes at all cause people. These mosquitoes are public enemy number one yeah. over here. Trust me. I hate them mosquitoes, man. And also get one of those electric rockets, man. <laughs> Walking around with them things. Yeah, crazy. Man, you come in here, Wimbledon boy. Yeah, smack them, man. And when you smack them, they're gonna start shaking and you know what I mean? It's gonna smell yeah. it if you don't bother. Yeah, you cook them, man. <laughs> hate is a strong word. The only thing I hate in the world is the devil and mosquitoes. Look, number five, you should use sunblock. It's very mm. possible that That's you get advice. sunblock that is. if you're not yeah, accustomed yeah, yeah. to these temperatures, you know? And that also goes to you, my fellow heavenly melanin. Bro, but you gotta be, you gotta think about it. Black people don't really put on sunblock. Mm -hmm. On a regular, like we don't think about it. Mm -hmm. I never use it. Right, the, right. the heat gets crazy. I've been on beaches, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I've been to where the heat was like at its most top tier heat. Like, I'm mm -hmm. talking about 110. Yeah. 110, 110, Lord Jesus. 110, you know what I'm saying, Ohio. Right. And the heat has just been as what it was. But I've never put on sunblock before. But that's that Caribbean heat. It, it it's is a different, different type of heat. I've seen the video. You saw it too when this chick went in the, uh, on the boat ride. And she came she back. She had no five sunblock. I'm talking about literally five shades darker. Darker. That's all I needed to know. Just Once I seen that, I was like, okay, I know what to do. Black girl sunscreen. Man, it's he real. He's going to put it on too. It's just the name. They didn't come out with the black dude yet. But black girl sunscreen. That's a crazy disclaimer. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't thinking about the brand. Yeah. <laughs> but okay. Listen. Yeah, I don't get sunblock because I'm an island boy, you know? Yeah, I ain't new to this. I true to this. Before we get to the what you should not do, like this video and subscribe to my channel, people. Five things you should not do. Number one, don't wear camouflage. Oh, it's not as though you'll be arrested yeah. if you wear it, but there's a chance that you'll be told to change your clothes, you know? <laughs> wow. I just recommend you don't. If you do, just be prepared to change into something else, you know? 
Number two, do not pet the wild monkeys. Listen, this is no Disney Channel movie. This is no Cartoon Network. This Straight ain't up. Lion King. This ain't Icy. Listen, people. These monkeys ain't no fairy tale beings. This is, this is Man, real life, people. Huh. Don't be running out there trying to pet monkeys and give them bananas like they're your friends, bro. Right. These monkeys ain't your friends, bro. Leave these monkeys alone, for real. If you want to pet them and feed them, go to the Wildlife Reserve or go to Welshman Hall Gully. Don't be out there trying to play that like use yeah. Dr. Doolittle or something, bro. <laughs> Number three. Now, hold on, hold Do on. It. Yeah, because, you know what I'm saying? I feel like people in the States, just in general, around the States, people will be like, oh. Monkey, you know what I'm saying? Because they would want to pet it. You know what I'm saying? Like, for instance, if you see a horse chilling or a cow, they want to go give it grass. Yeah, you know what I'm picture. saying? They want to take a picture by it, chill by it and whatnot. Even tap, tap it a little bit if they could. But, mm -hmm. you know, I, I think that was for everybody out here. We got to leave that, that American mindset here. Yeah, I think that's for everybody out here. Right, right. Slow it down. <laughs> don't tap Don't, don't. And I mean don't under any circumstance. Let's go. You come into Barbados because you think it's beautiful mm. and you think it look nice on the internet and you've heard great stories and you've heard how clean it is and how blue the waters are. So keep it that way. Don't be going to Barbados to litter and pollute the environment. Bro, what's wrong with you? Mm. Number four. Listen, do not touch the manchineal trees. Stay away from the fruits and just don't touch them, right? When it rains, do not be under. The mansion right. tree. They're very toxic and poisonous. Oh, if that wow. sap gets on your skin, it could cause blisters. Oh, and it's gonna burn. You, you know, it. if it goes in your eyes, you could turn blind, bro. Now you're gonna be wondering, but JJ, how do I know if it's a mansion tree? Well, let me tell you, there are these red bands around the tree. Oh, like, right, right. A red band of paint right. around the tree to tell you to stay away. Number five, I think this one is very important. Now, the fifth thing that you should not do is take the safety for granted. It's a very safe country, it is, but you know, everywhere is gonna have crime. Operate in a smart way, people, you know? Look at the times you're out, look at the areas you're in, look at who's around you, you know what I mean? Don't be at the beach in, at certain times, in certain places. Move correctly, man. Like, for real, you come in here, you wanna have the best time of your life and you wanna go back to wherever you come from, right? In one piece. There's only one way to do that. Keep yourself safe, you know? So still move with caution. Right. Operate smartly. Don't take your safety for granted, you know? Talk about all this stuff. Now, the thing is, when you come to Barbados, you're gonna wanna see a lot of stuff, right? So what you can do, I'd recommend, is to book an island tour. Oh, but yeah, even yeah, yeah. better than that, craft your own island tour. Make your own island tour. Especially if you have access to a car. Three reasons why you should make your own island tour. Number one, you can save some money because some island tours can be expensive to some people. Number two, the second reason I'll say, some island tours don't cover places that you'd want to go to. And the third reason, you might love a certain experience so much, but the tour has to continue, so you have to leave. You know, but you are in control of your schedule when it is your island tour. So that's why I think you should do that. We did our own island tour. We saved money. We got to go to the exact places that we want to go to on our own accord and our own schedule. So go check those videos out after. And yeah, make your own island tour, people. You know, be your own boss, bro. Come on, be your own boss, bro. Boss up. Yeah. Boss up now. No, people. Thank you very much. All right. All right, we're gonna stop right there, man. Y'all know what to do. Go ahead and check the channel out. I really enjoyed the fact that he was mentioning um, keep your head on a swivel. Oh, I feel definitely. like people do take their safety for granted because some locations are told that is one of the most peaceful, safest places mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, especially if you come from a background that requires you to keep your head on a swivel, mm -hmm. that is you know a second nature, it's first nature it. actually. It should be first it's, nature. It's in you. It's facts, in you. facts. And um, yeah, I feel like it was a good video. It was dope. <laughs> yeah, he came with some good tips. You know, usually we get the generic. Oh, this, this, this. He came with the, no, I'm going to give you the real. I like right, that. Right, right. I like that. Um, Barbados is one of those places where if you go there for just two, three days, you're missing out. Do do like a week, you yeah, know, so yeah. you can tour it's, the whole place. And you might not even need a week, honestly. Right, yeah, you're not supposed to feel rushed. It's exactly. supposed to be a vacation. But right. uh, y'all never told us about no tree. 
Yeah, y'all ain't tell us about no itchy no, tree, no mm -hmm. tree that can cause blindness or mm -hmm. rashes, you know, because exactly. we see fruits we eat. Right. We thought, you know, it was good to go. Right. <laughs> I don't you like know, that. The, it reminded me of those little trees that we have. I don't know the name of Lime them. Lime trees, isn't it? Isn't it? No, no, not those. Kumquats. Kumquats, Kumquats. the little small. Yeah. Mm -hmm, that's mm -hmm. why I was like, I'm heartbroken. But when he said that, that's all he had to say. Hey, so I know exactly that's what to look for. That's all he had to say. You know, hmm. them red lines. Uh -uh, come here. I'm talking to our children. Oh, Lord. Reference. Um, yes, yeah, so Barreto's cool, cool, cool country. Love the people. Our very first piece of fan meal was from Barbados. Oh, yes, um, fact. Shout out, shout and out. And it was actually, we, we, we don't, still got it today. Yeah, actually. we still have it. We don't know who sent it. So if you're still watching mm. all these years later, let us know who you are, right? We wanted to, you know, do something, but we couldn't because we that couldn't was, find you. That was when we had our P.O. box open. Yes. We haven't yes. had our P.O. box open for you all for a long time. Years. <laughs> we long closed time. down years. People kind of. No hey, we had reasons, um, but um, that was a good that was a good yeah. uh, uh mail that came through. Yeah. Definitely was a good and one. And the person gave us a coin because they wanted to support our channel, mm -hmm. and um, they just asked that we visit and invest back into their economy. Facts. And so it was a it was a nice gesture, but we do want to have that coin when we go back to Barbados eventually. We never forgot. Yes. All right, y'all. We hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Be sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.